It's a. Uh, it's an island just coming up on our left hand side. Another island, very small island. It's only got four blocks of land on, four houses, just in front of us on the left. And it's called White Lily's Island. White Lily's Island. The first house, as you see, is rather large for the trees there. You get a bit of a better uh, look at the man. It's brand spanking new, this house. Brand new. Uh, the family moved in about a year ago. About a year and a half ago, there was a six bedroom house here. Indoor swim for one sum of two million pound. This person bought it recently for 1.9 million. The first thing he done with it is knock it down. That's what often happens on Thames because there's no spare land to build on these days. These wealthy people buy a house, none of them will knock it down the build right. How many bedrooms around that house has got them? When I was building it, I know now, but when I didn't know at the time when I was building it, I was guessing about five, six, maybe seven bedrooms. No, and he bought bedrooms, that. Eh? Quite surprising they bought bedrooms. We talked to the builders a little while back. I don't think uh, the builders got any reason to lie to us. And downstairs is uh, a cinema and a bowling alley downstairs. You wouldn't actually give us a name and live there, a person lived there. Fair enough, isn't it? Another house, uh, next house, uh, White House, two white pillars there. This changed hands about 10 months ago for two and a quarter million. And the third house, well, it, Ground table and chairs, willow tree. Has anyone heard of Natin Bruder? Yeah, Australian actress, neighbours, a uh, few future films, like John Mish, a few albums. Uh, she did there uh, for about 12, 14 years, didn't that? Mean? She moved out, I don't know, nine months ago, a year ago, I suppose now. But she lived there lived, uh, a few years, about 12, 14 years. But uh, Natin Bruder's second album is actually called White Lilies Island. And the last house, I'll be honest, we got the last uh, house here. I know absolutely nothing at all about that house, the last house. Little families lived there for years and years, sick, very happy every time I was It doesn't look like an island, but it's a little stream on, on the right there. It goes all the way around, so um, completely surrounded by water. Uh, there's a bridge the other side, so not, it's not completely cut off. We drive over the bridge. Just going to back up on the the waist to keep it on the kids with him, make sure they keep their arms and heads inside as well. Just some balls and that's all.
snow kids have you still got have you still got dry feet the feet still dry yeah just checking just checking always a good sign dry feet in the way out if they're wondering what happens to the wheels they just they don't hold on the wheels yep they don't hold up any jank on these big underwater they just hang down in the water we can make them go down but it'd be a bit of a <laughs> so uh, we'll be going back the same way we came on Martha Bow. So me and Lee Lowes, uh, me and Lee to Lowes, you've got to point out uh, on the way back to Ronish. Any questions, anyone? Anyone got any questions? Anything going on the way back in mind? Ask anything you like. I'll tell you, I'll tell you about, about a, a firework a few years ago. Anyone remember the big firework a few years ago in Windsor Castle? A massive fire. Any, any, anyone know what year it was? Or like to take a guess? Not bad, not, not far, 92. 1992, yeah, only for you. 26 years ago now, that time fly. 20th of November 1992, largest firebox you've ever seen. It was attended by 39 fire engines, over 200 firemen, and they pumped one and a half million gallons of water up to the river, up the hill, put the fire out. It took about 15 hours to put the castle fire out, and it's uh, damaged almost 100 state booms. And it literally gutted nine of them. They, they left it alone for about nine months to assess the damage, then the water dry up in. And after nine months, they come to an estimate. It would take five years and 37 million pounds to put right. But the good news was that the taxpayers didn't have to pay the 37 million pounds. About a year after the fire, Queen Elizabeth opened the doors to Buckingham Palace for the first time. And a mission on the doors paid for the 37 million pounds. That's all good. Um, it started off by sending some reasons of fire. A young, young electrician was doing some uh, electrical work in Queen Victoria's private chapel at the time, now lands are in. About 11.30 in the morning, he went off for a tea break and left a halogen lamp too close to set curtains. The heat from the bowl set the curtains on fire and whoosh, gas and went up in flames. I don't know what happened to him. What do you reckon? Tower? Does it call this? We, um, we've got two barracks in there, they're full of soldiers, so when the uh, fire started, obviously all the soldiers rushed out the barracks and uh, run up the hill towards the castle. So, help out, carry out all the um, furniture and treasure. And these soldiers started going up this carpet. This carpet is in the Waterloo room, it's still there. It's the largest unseen carpet in the whole wide world. And these soldiers started going up, lifted away from the fire. Ten soldiers tried to lift it to every number ten, to every number ten, to every. In the end, it took over 50 soldiers just to lift this roll up carpet up. When they put it back, they put it back down on this uh, massive machine. And they weigh on this massive machine. Uh, and it weighed well over 10 half tons. Just a roll up carpet. I watched the fire, I watched the fire live. Well, well, uh, 26 years ago, I heard about the fire when I watched it all live. I was hoping they'd stop chucking Rembrandt's out the window. Didn't they? Does anyone uh, plan on visiting the castle in the next few days? Anyone go around the castle now? Frogmore Castle. Frogmore House. Yeah. Well, you're after Frogmore Cottage. You're after uh, Prince Harry and Meghan. Let's walk the long walk. Do you know the long walk? It's off that, it's totally private. You got it's all screened by trees, you can't you can't see the house at all. It's in there, yeah, but you've got no access to it, you can't see it. Mm. Totally private. That's just off the long walk, yeah.
phones and everything. Make sure you've got your mobile phones before you leave to check. When you get up, have a look behind you, make sure you don't left anything on the seats, alright? That's the best way. 